Well, good morning from the Creation Museum here in Petersburg, Kentucky. Got something really different, really unique uh, for you today. Uh, there's lots of people here today and uh, people touring around in all sorts of places around the Creation Museum. But you can see here, we actually do all sorts of specialized workshops here at the Creation Museum. And you can go to the website, creationmuseum.org, to find out when they're going to be on. Uh, there's many different sort of workshops uh, here. Uh, during the week, uh, weekends, it really depends on the specialist people that we have and when they're doing these. But if you have a look up here, we have this one called Forensic Investigators Identifiably You. Now this is a new workshop that we have here. In fact, there's going to be a whole series of workshops by our forensic scientist. And she is a forensic scientist. And we're going to meet uh, Jennifer here uh, in a moment. So we're going to go into actually doing a workshop. I'm going to bust in to the workshop and you'll see uh, the kids, uh, parents, I'm not sure who's in there actually, they have been warned, whoever's there, that I'm going to bust in on them uh, for this uh, live Facebook. So let's do that and we're going to find out what they're doing. I just want you to experience some of the things we experience here at uh, the Creation Museum and it always thrills my heart to see all the families uh, that are involved here. So we're going to come in here and uh, hey good morning everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Are you all absorbed in doing something here. I'm, yeah. I'm breaking into your workshop. Yeah. Uh, so let me come over here away from the, away from the projector here. And I have a microphone oh, for you. you. So Jennifer. Thank you. Yes. So tell us, tell us what's going on here. They I, are... I, I see some funny black things. Yes. Those are fingerprints. Fingerprints. And the they screen. are all practicing taking their fingerprint patterns and then they're going to identify their pattern types. So fingerprints, doing forensic science at the Creation Museum. What's yes. That, what's that got to do with Christianity? Well, you know, God has fearfully designed us and created us to be unique in His image, and He gave us a unique identifiable feature that actually develops at 10 weeks in the mother's womb, and our fingerprints don't change during our entire lifetime, and they've never found two people to be the same. So, so fingerprints are unique. Of all the billions of people that lived on Earth, from Adam and Eve all the way through to now and the billions that are alive today, yes. nobody's had the same fingerprints? Nobody has ever had the same fingerprints. Uh, what about apes? Are we similar to fingerprints of apes? We are not similar to fingerprints of apes. They do have fingerprints, but ours are completely different. They have 30% loops, whereas our patterns are 65% loops, and their world patterns are like 65%, and ours are only 30%. So what you is, can't what compare does that mean? Them. That's the type of fingerprint pattern it is. So apes are totally different to humans? They have different uh, percentages in their fingerprint patterns, So yes. we shouldn't look at our fingerprints and say, I obviously am related to an ape. Absolutely not. <laughs> and you know what else we have that's unique is the complexity of the minutia detail, which is the characteristics in our fingerprint patterns. The apes don't have that. So how do you know all this? What did you study? I have studied forensic science. I have an undergraduate in criminology and criminal justice, and I used to work in a crime scene unit and had several hours from the FBI in fingerprint science, in latent print comparison, and palm print comparison. So you could be one of these stars on CSI or something? I could. I could, yes. Because <laughs> you know all that And stuff? you know what, Ken? I probably know a lot more than they do, because uh, yeah. they're just actors. You're right. Yes. I'm sure they don't get it right all the time. Yes. <laughs> uh, just for the sake of uh, TV here. Well, I'm, I'm going to actually get this Facebook live. There it is, you see? There you and I are oh, live yes, I do see it, on, yes. on my Facebook. Mm -hmm. And so if people want to ask some questions of you, they can do that. Um, oh, oh, what about identical twins, someone asked? Identical twins do not have the same fingerprints. We just looked at that in here. Oh, they don't they have do the not. No. So everybody has unique fingerprints. Everyone has unique fingerprints, okay, Let's have a yes. look at what they're doing here. Hey, um, can, can everyone here just wave for the, for the camera? There we are. Maybe you could call out where, where you're from. Can somebody call out where you're from? Which state are you? Where, where are you from? Uh, Georgia. Georgia. You sure? Yes, okay. All right. I wasn't sure you were sure there for a moment. Georgia. Where are you from? Yeah, Georgia. 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 Illinois. Illinois. Where else? Yes? Tennessee. Tennessee. Okinawa. 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 Japan. Japan. Oh. Okay. Wow, that's a long way away. <laughs> yeah. All right, where else? Kentucky. Kentucky? I've heard of that state. I'm Japan. Japan. Okinawa. Okinawa. That is really, really something. Is that, is that a military base there? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, there is. Oh, okay. Well, that's great. Anyone else? Tell me where they're from. Yes? Georgia. Georgia. Okay. All right. Well, it's great to have uh, all you people here. I just busted in. 
Uh, you know, my name is Ken Ham, and I'm the president of Answers and Genesis Accretion Museum and the Ark Encounter, and I just busted in on this workshop, and you're live going all around the world. Oh, there is, here's some of the comments. Cool kids are learning. They are your cool kids. Did you know that? Uh, and uh, people on here from all across America. Tell everyone hi from Peru. Somebody from Peru is watching you right now. And they have a different fingerprint to you, just so you know. Didn't, you learn, didn't they learn mm -hmm, that? Mm -hmm. They did learn that. So what are they doing here right now, um, Jennifer, if you can explain they, to us? They are practicing how to correctly roll your fingerprint because they're going to get a sheet where they can put all ten of their fingerprints on and take them home. Oh, really? Yes, that's so, the sheet right here. And they're going to... Can we have a look at that sheet? There mm -hmm. we are. They're going to roll their ten fingerprints on there so they can take them home and they're so, going to practice identifying So we actually them. study, so we do all sorts of different workshops here. We're mm -hmm. actually studying forensic science, but at the same time they're doing it from within a Christian worldview perspective, right? Yes, yes. So uh, let's go over here. So these people that come from Japan, they, their fingerprints haven't changed. They're, they're the same fingerprints they were born with? They're, they're the same <laughs> fingerprints they were born with. Okay, mm -hmm. there, there we are. You enjoying the workshop? Is this fun? Looks like your fingers are all dirty. Yeah, kids like to have dirty fingerprints, don't they? <laughs> yes. uh, so, uh, someone here says hello from Big Stone Gap, Virginia. Hello from New York, <clears throat> Mississippi. Uh, so there are people from all over here. So, what else do you teach in these workshops? I'm also going to be teaching tomorrow my Nusha Nature Workshop, which is where we look at fingerprint patterns all throughout natural processes and other biological processes. We don't just see them on our fingers. Well, where else do we see them? We see them in sand dunes. We really? see them in yes. We see them in clouds. We see them on jellyfish. We see them in flowers. Do you think it's like God's fingerprint? I do think it's like God's fingerprint. And you tell them that? Yes, I do. He mm -hmm. he he likes particular patterns. He does. And we see those patterns in nature. Mm -hmm. And even in nature, they're unique as well. Huh? What about in astronomy? Do you think you see those same patterns out? I'm heard, sure you I've do. I've heard of that. Yes. So mm -hmm. uh, absolutely. Yes, that that is absolutely amazing. So all these kids, so you're all learning to be forensic scientists. Well, I'll be. Well, this is, uh, this is absolutely phenomenal. And we, we have microscope workshops here. Yes. We have snake workshops. I think we're going to have, let me ask one of our museum staff over here. Sorry to put you on screen here in front of millions of people around the world. Zillions of people, probably seven billion watching right now. Well, maybe not that many. But um, aren't we going to have some workshops on bats soon? We do. We have that coming from uh, Rick Teepin. will be coming. And so he'll be doing a workshop on bats. Mm -hmm. He also does a workshop on... Uh, no, somebody else does a workshop on snakes, don't they? Yes. yes. Uh, snakes Alive. Yes. So we have all sorts of uh, different workshops here. Hey, is someone saying God is awesome from Northern Ireland. Someone's watching us. Oh, no, Northern Indiana. Sorry, not Northern Ireland. Northern Pennsylvania. So in, Janu in January, we're actually going to have an all-day forensics workshop with four unique workshops designed for kids, and uh, they will be able to register soon for that. And it's going to be called Explore Forensics. Explore Forensics, yes. and that'll be when? In January. January. It's and going to be two full days on a Friday and Saturday, and the kids can come in and do a workshop in fingerprinting. In processing fingerprints, they're going to get to dust for their fingerprints. They're going to do forensic hair analysis, looking at human hair and animal hair, and forensic entomology. I think I want to come to that. It's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yes. So they can go to creationmuseum.org. Yes. When are they going to be sort of advertised, do you think? Uh, probably within the next month. Within the next month. So keep, yes. keep that in mind. We're also doing up a different program for our calendar to make it easy for people. Yes. Because our calendar, you know, has, uh, you know, sometimes things aren't as intuitive on the web. Yes. And so we're actually putting up a whole new calendar very soon and make it really easy. Encourage people to check out those workshops. They need to register for those, don't they? Because yes, these workshops usually, usually book Probably out very quickly. Sell out. Yeah, yes. they sell out yes. very quickly. So <laughs> keep a, a look on that, and that's for yes. January. That is for January. Uh, and uh, that'll be absolutely phenomenal, those particular uh, workshops. And Jennifer, let me just uh, tell people something else that you're doing. You're working on special study guides yes. for young people and children to be able to go through the ark and go through the museum yes. and learn all the information. Can yes. you give us a little overview of what you're doing there? Yes, the study guides are going to be more from an educational perspective and allow students to go deeper into what we're trying to teach here into the authority of God's Word at the Creation Museum. Right. And they're going to be for different age levels and there's going to be all kinds of different questions like Venn diagrams and, uh, you know, 
word puzzles and all kinds of things that's in the order that you would walk through the museum yep. so that they can fill it out as they go and just get a whole new understanding. And at their age level, and there's going to be similar guides for the ARC, right? Yes. So we're doing those for the ARC. Yes. And that would be great for just families yes. or homeschool Home groups school, yes. or Christian school groups. Yes. So Christian schools, if they're going to bring their classes, you'll be able to have these study guides. Yes. And we hope to have them ready by next year. I'm hoping, yes. So that's what we're working hard on. Yes. We, I know you've got a lot of the material written mm -hmm. and yes, then we have to put it together yes. and, uh, yes. and get it published for next year. That's what we want to see. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, so we have people uh, coming from uh, all over the place watching this now. Uh, you know, what, what is fascinating is a lot of people think that, oh, Creation Museum, all they do there is, you know, they just hit you on the head with the Bible or something. Now, we certainly believe God's Word and the museums will walk through the Bible, but we do all sorts of science here as well. Yes. These are great workshops for homeschoolers to get involved in, uh, even Christian school groups to come. Absolutely. And uh, we, we teach them real science and show them that we are not anti-science. We love science, yes. right? Yes, we are intelligent. We are intelligent. We are. Yeah. Yes. And we can investigate God's world. Yes. And, uh, of course, here they do it from a Christian perspective, creationist worldview, instead of an evolutionary one as they get out there uh, in the secular world. So what do you hope they're going to take away from this workshop? I just hope that not many of them have never even looked at their own fingerprints before. So I hope that just by taking their own fingerprints, they can see the beauty and the complexity in their fingerprints and that they realize that they are, you know, fearfully and wonderfully made. Knit together in their mother's womb. Knit together yeah. in their mother's womb and that God, you know, has designed them for a specific purpose. Well, Jennifer, I think it's absolutely fantastic uh, what you're doing here in all these workshops. Somebody said here, proud of all your hard work and your faith that uh, brought you to this moment. Um, somebody from New Hampshire watching. Will you do DNA? Well, Dr. Georgia Purdom does DNA, yes, doesn't she? Yes, we're actually going to have an Explore Genetics workshop for homeschoolers in February. In February. Well, yes, there we are. Somebody we asked that be, question. I've already designed that. We okay. will be uh, extracting DNA. We'll be constructing a DNA model, and we'll be learning all about that in February. So just so people know, we, we brought Jennifer on here to head up basically science education workshops yes. uh, at the Creation Museum. We've already been doing workshops before you came, but this is taking it to a whole new level now, yes. which is what we want to see. We need to let you get back to uh, to, to your uh, <laughs> your workshops here. Yes, they're waiting for me to identify their fingerprints. Okay, we might just watch you do that just a little okay, bit, great. and I'll take that microphone right, from you. you. There we are. And we'll just watch... Um, so there's Jennifer starting to... Uh, talk more about uh, you can see that she's uh, starting to work with them now around the table so it's really great that we're taking these workshops to a whole new level now uh, here at the Creation Museum with our science education specialists and as you can see they're having fun and this is a I'm trying to think today's a Tuesday isn't it uh, a Tuesday, so in the middle of the week, and look at all these uh, kids here, and this is just a fraction of the people that are here at the Creation Museum today, and there's thousands of people at the Ark, there'll be a couple of thousand here at the Creation Museum, and this is happening every day, thousands of people coming to Northern Kentucky to visit the Creation Museum and the Ark, and with that, I'm going to sign off here from the Creation Museum, and you have a great day, and go to creationmuseum.org, go to arkencounter.com, have a great day.